goal for today is to take all these parts, put them in this empty case, and build ourselves a PC. Let's go. Hey guys, Tori here from Overlook Horizon. If you're new to the channel, we fly high altitude weather balloon flights to the edge of space and back. And along the way, we talk about space, science, and technology. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Now today we're gonna be building a PC from scratch. This is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time, but I've never done it. So this is gonna be a bit of an experiment. Now the reason behind this here is if you've been a subscriber to the channel for a long time, we do a lot of live streaming for SpaceX launches and for our own weather balloon flights. That live streaming needs a powerful computer. Our computers to date have been okay at that, but we need something better. Now, some of you might know this about me, but I am a software engineer. That's what I went to college for. That's what I do day in and day out every single day at my regular job. And I feel like I'm doing the industry a little bit of a disservice by the fact that I never built my own computer. I mean, how can I work in the software industry with computers for a living and never have built one from scratch. That's changing today. So I'm no expert in putting this together, but I feel like we can work through this together. So just be gentle in the comments, all right? Come on. All right, before we dive in and start taking things apart, let's talk about what we have here and what we're gonna be putting in the machine. Let's start here with the case. Empty case, it does have an RGB controller inside of it because it has RGB fans on the right side, but this is a Corsair 465X IQ case big enough to fit our ATX size motherboard. Now the motherboard is this AS Rock Phantom Gaming 4, the X570 chipset. It fits the AMD AM4 socket for processors. And speaking of processors, we're gonna be putting in an AMD processor, obviously. It's gonna be the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. This thing is a beast. It's an eight core, 16 thread processor. It's got a base speed of 3.6 gigahertz and a max boost speed of up to 4.4 gigahertz. This guy's a beast. Give us plenty of power. Not the best that's out there, but it's gonna be pretty good for us. Now cooling that CPU is gonna be the Master Liquid ML240R with RGB lights. That's gonna be our liquid cooling for the processor. And we're also gonna be putting in 32 gigabytes of memory or RAM. That's 3200 megahertz speed memory that we're putting in, 32 gigabytes of that. We're also gonna put in two hard drives. We've got an SSD from Samsung, the 860 QVO that we're gonna put in. That's one terabyte hard drive that'll have our operating system on it. And then our main overflow storage for all of our files and videos and all that kind of stuff is a Toshiba X300 performance hard drive, the 7200 RPM hard drive. Powering the whole thing is going to be our power supply unit, which is a 750 watt power supply unit. It's an 80 plus gold certified efficiency rating. That thing will be a beast. Plenty of power for the whole thing. And lastly, the main workhorse for this is going to be our graphics card or GPU. This is an MSI Gaming X Trio, which is an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Super. This thing, also a beast. Not the best that's out there. You can still go a step up, but this thing is gonna, this is gonna give us what we need. So if you're interested in any of this stuff or you wanna build a computer yourself, I'll put links in the description below for all of these items that I used in case you wanna try it out. All right, now it's time to dive in. As I mentioned, I have never done this before. So this is gonna be a bit of an experiment, but the natural place to start is with the motherboard. So we're gonna take off this glass case. We're probably gonna have to take off some of the other panels as well. But I wanna get the glass case off first so we don't break anything. It's also, it does have this nice protective plastic shield on it, which is kind of nice for scratches, but we're gonna set this guy aside. Okay, let's take this baby out. All right, so when we put this in, it's gonna look something like that. Now we're gonna get the processor in there. it is. All right, in order to get that on here, we just have to open this bar up. And then what we're looking for on the processor, there's a tiny little arrow, which is down here in the bottom corner. And we're gonna line that tiny little arrow up with the tiny arrow that's on the processor block right here. So while 
while it's facing me. This is in the bottom left corner. It's also in the bottom left corner. This guy just sets in there nice and gentle. And just close the bar and it's done. It's in there. Okay, next up, we're gonna get the motherboard in the case. How is it that I can have an entire workshop with tools everywhere, but they're never in the spot that I need them to be when I need them? Can't find any screwdrivers. We got this one, which will be pretty good. Okay, motherboard's in. Next up, I think we're gonna get the cooler out. Oh, that's not the cooler. It's a graphics card. We don't need that yet. We need the cooler. This is the cooler. There's the radiator. Oh, look at this, they included thermal paste. I like that. We need screw F. What did you say? Okay, this is gonna go on the top of the case here. Nice and gently. Okay, fans are in. Now we've gotta connect the actual CPU. A Little bit of thermal paste. Should be able to plop her right on. All right, a couple things we learned in that process. Order matters. <laughs> We're gonna put the memory in first, because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to it once I put that thing in. Okay, thermal paste transfers the heat from the CPU to the cooler. That's pretty good actually, I think. Let's see if we can get the cooler on. Memory's in, cooler's in, motherboard's in, processor's in, and next up, I think we're going to put the power supply in. Slide in this way. Next up, we're going to put in the regular four terabyte hard drive. Would have been much easier to put these in before I put the power supply in there. Too late now. Now what? Let's check out the SSD. All right, and the SSD is gonna go on the back of the case here. I've got these plates here that I can screw it into and then attach it to the back like this. Can't get the screws in. SSD's in there. I'm gonna put it in this spot. All right, now we're gonna try to get all these all these wires connected. Got to clean up this mess and get it somewhat organized. Start to get everything plugged in and then we can finally get the video card in. Uh, rip. All right, oh, we're going to take the cooler off for a fourth time. Okay, so what is this thing for? Taking the cooler off for a fifth time now. <laughs> More wire routing. Now, on to the big one, the GPU. Graphics processing unit. These are the coolest directions out of any of these, for sure. It's cartoons. How cool is that? Oh my God, this thing's enormous. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, before I do that, I want to power this thing up and see if it turns on. Okay. Everything's connected. We're going to try to boot it. Clearly that doesn't work. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what the issue is. Great. Oh. It's alive! It's alive! We have lights. Will anything appear on our display? No signal. Okay, well, at a minimum, the fans work. All right, that didn't work. And there's a VGA light on the board, which tells me the display is not working. So I'm gonna try to install the big video card See if that resolves it. Wow, that thing is huge. A monster. All right, graphics card is in. Let's try again. Power. Oh, something's happening. Get out of here. It works. Yeah, how about that? I need a keyboard or something.
All right, now we got a keyboard and a mouse. Time to fire it up and see if we can get to the boot menus and see what we can play with. All right, so it boots, we messed with the configuration. I think we got it how we want it for now. I gotta go get a copy of Windows 10. We'll load it on a USB and see if we can boot it up. There, that way. <laughs> we did it. One custom built PC. That was a terrible idea because now I want to do it again. That was awesome. I'll put links in the description below for all the parts that I use for this particular build, along with a website called PC Part Builder, where you can spec out your own parts and check for compatibility before you go spending any money. All right, thanks everybody for watching. I'm gonna sign off for now. If you think of a name, we gotta give her a name, I think. Betsy, or we need something better than that. Not Betsy, not Betsy. We need something better than that. So we need a name. <laughs>